Glendalough takes its name from the Irish Glendalocha, which translates as the Glen of the Two Lakes. The steep-sided glen and the two lakes that give the valley its name were all a product of a powerful glacier, one of many that were born in the heart of the Wicklow Mountains during the Ice Age. Glendalock's most famous resident was St. Kevin, who founded a small monastery here at the end of the 6th century. St. Kevin was renowned for his love of animals and plants, and he would probably be very pleased to see that today much of Glendalock forms part of the Wicklow Mountains National Park, ensuring the protection of the animals and plants that live in the valley. The Upper Lake is traditionally believed to be the place where St. Kevin spent his first seven years in Glendalock, living the solitary life of a hermit. The main features here include Reefer Church and a series of stone crosses marking a route for pilgrims to visit the humble beginnings of one of Ireland's greatest monasteries. Beneath the cliffs on the southern side of the upper lake are St. Kevin's Cave and Tempenuskelig, which can only be accessed by boat and are therefore out of bounds for the majority of visitors to Glendalough today. The main monastery is situated near the entrance to the lower valley of Glendalough. Here can be found the gatehouse to the monastery symbol to the 12th century visitor that they were entering a monastic city. Once inside the gatehouse, there is a wonderful collection of early Christian churches and related buildings, including the cathedral, St. Kevin's Church, the priest's house and the round tower. Everywhere are reminders that Glendalough has been an important burial ground for 1400 years. Glendalough also has several hidden treasures, only seen by a few visitors to the valley, such as St. Mary's Church, Trinity Church, and St. Saviour's Church. Built in the 1150s for a small community of Augustinian canons, St. Saviour's was the last church constructed at Glendalock. During the 11th and 12th centuries, Glendalock was at the height of its power and influence. However, by 1200, Glendalock had passed its peak, and its status and importance went into rapid decline. Gradually, many of the church buildings at Glendalock fell into disrepair. By the end of the 17th century, the churches at Glendalock had fallen into ruins. The archaeological remains of this monastery have been in state ownership since 1875, when the Office of Public Works began a program of conservation of many of the ruined churches that were in danger of collapse. Today, St. Kevin's Monastery at Glendalough is considered one of the premier national monuments in the country. In my new book, I will take you on a journey through the majestic valley of Glendalough, exploring the monuments, legends and history that make this one of the best preserved early Christian church sites anywhere in the world.